Okay, YouTubers, so I've just got home. It's now, what is it, about it's quarter past 11. Um, and I've been fixing up this pulley for the ride of mower out there. I'll show you the mower in a minute. But what had happened was, I'll have to take the thing apart. Um, there's a nut on the end. So this shaft here, the pulley sits up like that in the carrier. So there's the carrier which is that's not the one there's another one out there and anyway so it's bolted down obviously and it's got two belts to run between it and it's, it's a variable pulley i'll explain how that works in a later video but um the original shaft which i don't have here i should have bring it home to show you i've got some pictures i'll post them um had worn that much that the pulley it had actually just about worn the shaft all the way through so i could either pay 85 bucks for the genuine MTD roller bearings or pay 16 bucks um, for these ones from Frankston bearings and I had to all I had to do was machine about a mil out of here all up so only half a mil really off each side when you think about it and machine new shaft and I made it a bit differently I made it with this nut in the top so that I can get a spanner around it and that's then got sir clip in there that holds this um uh, I forget what you call it. it's some rigid dig plastic polybutylane or some shit like that it's meant to be very rare resistant better than nylon so anyway the shaft then pokes out a little bit there and you've got that one that goes on the bottom which then brings it almost exactly flush so there's a little bit of room then you'll bolt it down into the carrier I'll just have to obviously grease up all that shaft. So that's basically better than brand new, especially now that I've got these pads here so it wears against them and not just sitting direct steel on steel, which is what we hate. So anyway, I'll go and get the mower out and we'll have a look at fitting it to it. I can't remember whether the bearing, whether the carrier for it's already in there or whether I've got it laying somewhere, so we'll have a look. There we go, all attached, there's the carrier. The bolts down there right there anyway it's got absolutely fuck all movement in it anyway no matter which way you try and move it up and down it's nothing and the clunking sound you can use the inner pulley there that bit clunking up and down but otherwise she's fucking you beaut so it might have took taken me a few hours to do it but it's precision machine to perfection so I'm pretty happy with that it's better sure as hell better than um, sending it off to a machine shop and doing it but I suppose that's what I've learnt in my TAFE course not quite what I've done today because I don't teach stuff quite so pre precise and sort of you know you, don't, you get a drawing and they say you do this and you got digital readouts and all that sort of shit to help you whereas this being done the real way where it bloody micrometers and calipers and all that sort of shit and get it perfect and <coughs> you only have one go at it otherwise it's all fucked you throw it in the bin and get a new piece start again two hours work gone so anyway I'm happy with that and everything's good we'll go and mount it under the mower if I can find all the springs and shit that go with it alright I'll have a look alright so I'm here at the mower I've got it tipped up which I'd never ever recommend because if it falls, rolls forward it'll crush you so just don't do it because if you do you'll kill yourself um, and there's a great chance I could kill myself but it's actually yeah, it's sitting back on its back this one's fairly stable it won't fall over yeah, so anyway, I've only just been working under it for a few seconds. So there's the belt and pulley system. There's the clutch linkage goes up to here. So that's the clutch there, goes out there. There's the linkage, follows down here and pulls on that. And there's a spring between there and there, as you can see. That spring just there, which um, variates pressure. And there's another one there that... So basically what happens is when you're going along because that inner cone of that pulley moves in and out that inner one 
depending on pressure variated by those two springs and pressure on the clutch um, when you got when the clutch is half depressed that cone the middle belt will the top belt will pull in and this belt here will pull outwards and it'll change the um, change the ratio and therefore slow and slow up the speed so then in this position which is the fast position so you can see that belt's riding in whereas that belt's riding outwards so yeah anyway you get this idea the deck's just here that's it there there's the pulley there's a few holes in it I can put it on like that it'll still go work all right um, to my lawn so I might try it it just needs to be welded up and blades replaced really but I'm not going to do that yet so anyway yeah, unfortunately it's almost 12 o'clock so I can't fire up now because as I've seen in videos fucking neighbours um, so anyway we'll fire up tomorrow morning when I get back I'm training for HPVs when my friend has an HPV human power vehicle team so I'm going with him in training some guy riding his team for him, but as soon as I get back, I'll give this a good old fire up and run around the driveway and have a bit of fun. See how she goes. Hopefully, she'll be faster than she was when I first fired it up. It was slow as hell because that shaft was worn. So, anyway, we'll give it a go. See you later.